Okay, now we've got the Sturge battle. Hi, Pyro Snake. This is gonna be bad. Run away! Can I move again? Can I move again? I can kill that, that Sturge. I mean, now the good news is that the Pyro Snake cannot hit me, uh, kill me with uh, one breath attack. Yet. Assuming that these guys can't hit me. Which they probably can. Wow, it didn't breathe. I'm not entirely sure why not. Well, let's see if I can get in close to it. Assuming that that one in front of me does not move. Assuming that uh, those two Sturges don't uh, kill me on as I'm moving. Well, they weren't. They won't kill me, but they might get it. Oh, up. Oh, up here it comes. Here it comes. Well, at least it's killing some of the Sturges for me. Ow! Twenty points of damage. Well, <laughs> I think I'm gonna die again. It's probably gonna be able to breathe and uh, and and kill me because I've got four hit points left. Let's see if I can get close to it. It's not gonna happen. Nope. Especially not when the <laughs> these sturges keep getting in the way. Oh, drains blood. Well. There I go. One point of damage, and I go down. They wouldn't even let you save your character on floppy disk? No, because uh, the, the characters were saved. Sturge, let's go! <laughs> down there at the bottom. Uh, the, the characters were saved on the server. Um, this is an online game. So, no, you could not... Uh, Uh, save your character locally. Uh, let's see. I mean, someone had to modify um, the original install to get this to work offline. You couldn't play this offline back in the day. I wonder what spells I could have. Huh. Cannot use spell. Ah, oh, boo. So I can't do that even uh, even with the GM powers. Worth a shot. Oh, I can... Uh, hmm. Oh, I didn't know I could do it that way. That actually uh, is kind of helpful. Uh, this is the old Neverwinter Night AOL Neverwinter Nights, Jimmy Colorado. Um, someone just modified the uh, old install because uh, when you got it, you had to download or purchase. Um, not purchase, but uh, well, actually, you might have had to purchase. I think you could get the installs like either at a store or by mail delivery. Um, and then you'd install it, you know, a few megs on your hard drive, which was a lot at the time, um, and launch it after connecting into AOL. Is that a hidden passageway? It is a hidden passageway, and I am just going to kill these guys. Zap! I want to know what's behind this door. I still get the experience points, and I still get the money. I don't get the items, though. Uh, let's zap them all again. I mean, I only got to play, like, 
Wow, there is nothing back there. It's just a battle with the Sturges. You saw a hidden passageway. It probably just leads back out. It's a fight with what? Hey, Kraken Spies! And a Harpy! Well, that's new. Let's see if they, uh... Let's see if they can kill me. But yeah, back in the day, you had to connect into the uh, AOL uh, Neverwinter Nights server and uh, play it that way, and your character was saved there, so um, it took more, like, I mean, for this, it was just, like, dummying up uh, where, uh, you know, whether it was accessing the internet or something like that. I mean, I don't know all the technical details, but, uh, um... Uh, it probably would have taken a lot more reprogramming of the game itself to allow it to save locally, because it, the game itself had no, um, functionality for doing that. And I think that's one reason why you weren't even able to, you're not even able to change the name, because I don't think when you, um played this, you could change your name. It used your uh, AOL screen name for your character name. Um, and I think that's why all of the uh, characters when you create them are NW Knight. That's just what they programmed in. Well, the Harpy got in close. Was not using any uh, magical attacks on me. Alright. You can die now. Poor little harpy. Poor, poor harpy. And lastly, the Kraken Spy goes down. What did I get? Uh, that is all the same junk. Hey, a composite, a composite short bow. I mean, longbow. Yeah. Finally get a composite uh, longbow back again. That short sword, I think, is uh, unique. Money-wise, 15 platinum. I mean, 15 gold and 25 platinum is pretty good. Uh, I am actually very close to being able to go up another level, although I don't have the money for it by far. And I have certainly cheated a few times in order to get that. I have no idea where this is going. It's a fight! Great Vilstrak and a wolf. A whole bunch of wolves. Alright, Great Vilstrak, and I missed it. And watch it disappear after the next Sturgis fight. So I think this is a unique creature that was made for the Savage Frontier games. I don't recall a Vilstrak being in any of the uh, Monstrous Compendiums or Monster Manuals from 1st Edition. Could be wrong. But let's kill you. I have no idea where, they're ca where they came from. And now to go after the wolves. Alright, wolf. Bad doggy. Now these wolf icons are from Pool of Radiance. You got to fight them uh, when you fought the... Uh, the vampire in Valingan Graveyard. I'm not sure if you could ever encounter them as a random encounter, I, though. I remember the uh, first time I was getting some random encounters, and, I mean, there's a lot of overworld random encounters that you can get that, just playing through the game normally, doing everything, you will oftentimes never encounter. Um, quicklings, tigers, uh, 
Thrycreen. What else? I think those are the big three that I had to actually work on, like, specifically wandering around out in the wilderness. Um, just back and forth, fighting everything that I faced until I finally encountered them. And I got absolutely nothing from those guys. Alright, so what is down here? Got a door, is locked, and a combat. Oh, hi, poisonous snake. Hi, minotaurs. Well, um, I don't think my uh, cheat haxy powers are going to save me here. Especially not if I miss the poisonous snake. Oh, uh, I'm so screwed. So screwed. Well, at least the other poisonous snake can't get to me. Yes. Yes, miss. Miss. Uh-oh. All right. Killed the poisonous snake. Watch the other one come in and murder me. It's the cow level. Yes. It's cow level from Diablo. Oh, wow. 12 points of damage. That hurt. These guys have an armor class of zero. Wow. All right. I'm going to attack you and miss... <laughs> oh god, I have like 10 hit points left. These guys are totally going to kill me. And I thought it was the poisonous snakes that were going to be the dangerous ones. No, 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 it's going to be the minotaurs. Yeah, it is really tough to get through here with uh, just a single character. <laughs> Really, really tough. These battles are not designed for uh, a single character to uh, take on. It actually probably wouldn't be so bad if I... Uh, yep, there we go. Wasn't even the poisonous snake that did it. And it looks like someone has gone through my belongings. What did I actually lose? Uh, I did not lose the uh, composite longbow, which is uh, which is pretty nice. But uh, I do have enough uh, experience to go up another level. I do not have the money for it. <laughs> All right, and it dumps us back here. There are actually um, maps online of all the areas. Um, although I don't know if they detail like where all the fixed encounters are and stuff like that. Um, it's actually pretty interesting. You could totally make this uh, remake all of Neverwinter Nights in um, uh, Unlimited Adventures. Um, wouldn't surprise me if someone's already done that, in fact. Uh, using the GM mode, you could certainly wander around in this area. In fact, uh, let's, let's see. GM mode. Combat. Disable, combat disabled. So this should mean that I won't get into any battles anymore. Um, I have no idea what just happened. But I just got a military pick and a longsword. I think that was the monsters option. Okay, it looks like where there is, where it triggers a battle, it just, like, automatically goes to the treasure screen. So that lets me know when there would be a battle. Boo. Interesting. I found treasure. Um, complete one. Interesting. I have not actually played around with all of this that much. Oops. 
Let's go this way. It's still triggering the, uh, like, the random, the, like, those two things, those are the, the random extra treasures that you would get. Huh. I don't know what the hell that was, but... This should lead off the map someplace else. I have no idea where this is. Oops, what does that say? Sign by the road re says west, two windy cliffs and never winter, east to port last. Um, let's go see if we can get to port last. And that would have been some boars. I got a hand axe. Pretty sure that sign said basically the same thing. It's a fight. I got a glaive gusarm. <laughs> Sign by the road reads, Welcome to Port Last. Go west to the Port Last Armor Shop. Rest to the east at the Griffin Inn. Hmm. I wonder if this is, uh... No, I don't... Oh, wow, two platinum. Yes, I am interested. Are you selling things for more? For more? Uh, no, you are not. Okay. Let's sell that. So I didn't get any magical items there. Port last harbor master. Aye, the gallant prince is here, all right. Appeared one morning, moored up nice as can be, but nobody on board. Of course, I haven't checked below, below decks, and neither should you. Well, that seems like a challenge. What is this? This simple residence appears neat and tidy. There is no one here. Eh, let's just break into people's houses. And I find treasure. There are two signs tacked to the pier. A beautifully carved wooden plaque says, Port Last Pier. A paper sign attached to it says, Danger! Do not enter! Let's totally do that. The watchman stops you and says, You can go down that hatch if you want to, but not me. No, sir. The ship set sail from water deep with a full crew. And she drifted here a week later with no cargo, tattered sails, and looking like she's been sea for five years. Looks like something ate her and then spit her out, she does. And there wasn't a man on her. No, sir. At least no man that's alive. Not that we searched all of her, mind you. But it's been days and not a man's come up on deck. Uh, what does this say? Large merchant ship looms before you. Her surface cracked and pitted. Her sail's gone. A name can be can still be read on her bow. The Gallant Prince. So I guess we're supposed to be... Oh. Alright, can I... Let's see... No, that's not it. Uh, teleport. I don't know what that map did. I wonder if it'll let me, uh, area view. Nope. I don't know. This looks like where they kept food for the crew. Only a few empty wooden cases and barrels remain. This looks like where they kept food for the crew. So yeah, we are apparently on the ship now. Bunks stacked neatly throughout the room mark this as the crew's quarters. And I found treasure. And I fought something or other. Actually, let's, uh... Re-enable combat. And we'll see what we actually would face around here. So I'm kind of curious. It's basically the same thing. And we've got some skeletons. And I screwed up. I thought I, I didn't think, I didn't realize I was on the move option. 
There we go. I can just zap them now. So, skeletons and zombies, a goodly number of them. Not going to take any of that right now. And a hellhound. Wow. Well, that would be bad to fight. <laughs> Zap them all. Two thousand four hundred experience points. Well, I know where to go to uh, get some uh, money and experience. Complete two. You feel a sudden sense of lightness, as if you were floating in thin air. You realize that is exactly what is happening, and that you are rising up into a dark opening above you. Oh, lovely. And Medusas! Hey! Hooded Medusas! Let's zap them. That'd be pretty bad to uh, fight them without anything else. And he wins the fight starting and ending with two hit points. Yeah. It works for me. The powers of GM hacks. I got a trident out of that. 1,500 gold. Wow. And three gems. Complete five. As you sheath your weapons and prepare to go, you notice a number of brass buttons on the floor with a familiar-looking coat of arms. Uh, I, I got a brass button. I have no idea what that means. As you stand, you feel the floor opening beneath you, and you float gently down to the level below. Bash that door in. Ah, oh, the door remains locked. It's rude. And it's a fight. There's a rock reptile. No, uh, no pyro serpent, though. Let's zap them. Lots more gold. Well, not lots more. And I get taken up here. Oh, hello. Here we've got ghouls and giant skeletons. Giant skeletons are actually not that difficult. Not worth a whole lot of experience. Hey, a Focard Fork! That's... that's great. Complete four. After the battle, you turn to survey the room, and discover a man lying in the corner. He appears very pale, and when you approach him, you see why. His skin is hardened into stone. I am the last... the last seaman of the gallant prince. They have turned me slowly to stone to force me to help them. Always promising to cast... His voice trails off. Who is it? Who has done this to you? You implore him. You can see the spell that has been cast upon him is working faster every moment. The man strains to speak. First, it was the pirates from Luskin. I saw their coat of arms. Then, the seaman stiffens into death, a crumpled statue lying at your feet. As you stand, you feel the floor gent uh, opening beneath you, and you float gently down to the level below. Oh, uh, well... It was going to happen one of these days. Bugbears and a troll. And I cannot uh, area view here. So this is a new area, yeah. Well, let's go back to the shop and see if any of these things were magical. That might be. Five gold for that. That might be magical. Yeah, all these things might be magical. Um, ID. Oh. Seriously? Wow. They're just worth a whole lot more in this area. 
That's weird. All right, well, that is quite a bit of uh, Neverwinter Nights. Um, Sword Coast Jewelers, no credit, no problem. Yeah, no one here. I'm just gonna take... Whoops, what does that say? Private residence, keep out. Well, that seems like an active inv invitation. Oh! Well? Hmm. I am frightened. I am forced to flee. And I died. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good, uh, good time to end. I think it was the Yetis that had uh, um, the fear radius. <laughs> Alright, so if I... Let's see. How do I quit? Yeah, quit. Quit to system? Yes. So if I start up again. Helps if I get the command, right? Oh, right. Um, it kicked me out to the lower level. Jump past through all that. So yes, create new character and quit the system. Those are the only options. So when you quit, your character is gone forever. Of course, you got the GM tools, so you can just create a new one. Uh, ah, I'm not done with the stream yet. I'm going to go play something else. This was uh, mostly for testing purposes, and while I have dropped a few frames, I'm going to tweak the settings down slightly. Um, was uh, anything like overly pixelated or anything like that for the stream? You guys could just let me know. I'm going to... Uh, do some tweaks before starting up the next uh, the next section of the stream. Because I'm not tired. It's only 8 p.m. my time. And there's 18 of you out there. But I'm going to take a break to get some more water. All right. Alright, so I'm going to be back in just a couple moments, then I'm going to take the stream down real briefly um, in order to uh, make some minor tweaks. And I just realized that I did not actually record any of that. Hmm. Well, I should be able to get the uh, stuff from Twitch. I'll have to double check that. Shoot, I, was, I meant to record all that. Well... I will remember to record the next thing. All right, so I will be back momentarily, uh, both to get more water and to start up something else. 